Hey guys, and welcome to the very, very long awaited English version of Girls Band Party. Bang Dream, Boundary, whatever you want to call it. I usually call it Boundary, so. Today, I kind of wanted to make a short video about how you can earn gems, like the star gems. There are certain kinds of gems in this game. I'm specifically talking about star gems, which you can scout with. I figured it would be quite useful because I personally know a lot of people that haven't played the Japanese server while I have been playing it for over a year. I started playing it one day after the game got released, so I I know my way around the game. So the reason why I started basically in this um, home screen is because I want to show you guys the first way to get gems. Well, okay, the first way to actually get some gems, it's not a lot, but it is gems, is can you see, tomorrow I will be getting 50 gems, which kind of is like one gem on Love Life. So I will be getting 50 tomorrow, which is nice. <laughs> okay, next. Um, there are often times that the game gives out free gems, whether it be for a special occasion or a milestone or a new album gets released and you get free gems from that, so that's always very nice. I've made a little list, those actually already were two from the list. So the very first thing after these two, of course, I want to show is something I'm I'm not really gonna be using myself, but you can always use it, it's, it's there, so why not? It's here, these Tap Joy gems you can earn. So I mean, if you really want to get some gems, why not, right? I'm not against it. I think it's a really nice feature to have for people who don't want to spend on the game. But I personally just won't use it because I believe that probably the ones like this one that gives you 1500 plus gems will probably take me a long time to get. And no, I'm, not, I'm just not down for that, you know? But if you can't spend any other way you may want to check this out because it's free most of the time, I believe. Uh, they actually really stepped it up because they removed some of the tap joy because people actually got mad about it, but they did not really throw it out because there were so many people that were also happy about it because why would you be mad about it? You don't have to use it. That's kind of my take on it. You don't have to use it, so why not? The first point that I want to go at is leveling up both in rank and in bond points that will unlock stories. So for example, if I read here this little side story with Kasumi and Arisa. You can see that I got some experience points and some bond points for the band. And let me just read another one, just so I can quickly show you. Okay, there is none. That's that's mean. But okay, you can like rank up from this. And if I go to here, yes, that's good. You can select a story, and when you read it, I, I um, I'm just gonna skip through it really quickly. I uh, like you can see, for reading these stories, you can get 50 gems and one droplet, which will let you buy cover songs from the circle. I'll show you how you can do that really quickly. Like, you need those drops for these songs, so... You can get those side stories by leveling up in your actual rank. So this right here, I'm tapping it, hope you can see it. And you can also get it by, like I said, leveling the bond up for a band. Bond for a band. That's a nice sum. <laughs> you can really quickly farm these stories, by the way. If you want to get to 2500 right away by just... You have this button here. Back to the title. I'm tapping right under it. I'm, I don't want to go back to the title. 
you can go back to the title and then the world will have how should I say the world will be renewed and there will be different characters with different side stories and if they say new uh, then you can read it because then you will get experience and bond points from it now the next thing is every card I'm gonna sort it like this every card you will be able to get gems with every rarity doesn't matter they all give the same amount of gems kind of like with love life but then also different let's just go to this Remy right here you can see here this one is locked and this one is locked you can actually unlock these by the other kind of gems that I mentioned earlier I honestly have no idea what to call them I'll just kind of show them right here because I do actually have some right here but I don't really have any on the English version so these gems the smaller ones are the easiest to get <laughs> you can see that by that I have over 15,000 of these cool ones uh, the attributes are happy, cool, powerful, and pure. And the middle-sized ones are relatively easy to get, but less easy than the smaller ones. And the bigger ones are least easy to get. But at some point, if you play in the so-called veteran room, you will be able to get them really easily. Okay, so let's go back to... So uh, with those gems you can unlock side stories and like this one is really cheap because you only need a couple but then if you go to like a 4 star which is the highest rarity in this game we have one 4 star right now uh, you, as you can see you will need a lot more and especially because the first story only gives you 25 star gems but the second one gives you 50 if this one can only be done when you fully rank out a card so for this card you can see here it's one level one of 50 but that's the rank you can idolize a card on and then it will go to 60 so unless this card is ranked 60 I will not be able to unlock this story Okay, so the... I'm not... I don't even know on which step we are right now. I think like fifth. Um, is by playing songs, you can get gems. I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think I should maybe show this on the Japanese version because... I don't know if I'm gonna full combo it. So I will at least be able to show you how you can get like an S rank with a free life mm, let's see I know Rosalia has a new song so I'll this so let's just play this one so I can show you how to get those gems Okay, so I did not full combo that song, but that's okay. So here you can see, after you complete a song, you can get these stars for reward, or all those gems for rewards. And then, as you can see here, I got some gems. I'm not 100% sure 
if this SS rank uh, right here is already available in the English server, I'll add it in like in the screen. But if it's not available right now, it will be available and you will be able to get more gems with that. But you will need a good team for that. You can also get um, gems by full comboing a heart or an expert song. So back to Ian. Okay, so there are certain goals you can complete when you can get some gems from. You can find them in this button right here next to Arisa. And there's also my record button right here. And it's basically just a bunch of, well, goals. And you can read them for yourself and you can clear them for yourself. I, I think you're probably smart enough. To know how to do that and then my th last thing that i can really think of as to free to play gems are events and i'm going again back to my japanese page because here i can really easily show you because here is actually an event going on so as you can see here this event will be <laughs> on the english server in quite a while in over a year so as i go here you can like get gems from earning enough event points i am not too far away from getting these 50 gems you can earn gems from that you can also there's three ways basically in events you can earn gems the first way was what i just showed you the second way is by reading the side stories that you can unlock in the event also by getting event points you can see here how many event points i need to unlock the next story you get the same amount of gems and the little drop to buy songs like with normal stories it's basically a normal story but you can only get it if you play the event the third way to get gems in an event is, like you can see here, for tiering in an event, you can get gems. So right now I think I'm in this particular tier, which is 100,000 through 300,000. And I will get 150 gems when the event finishes. So that's, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Playing an event is, by the way, in most events, you don't actually even have to do anything else. It's just like a token match. You just play and by playing, you also get event points. If you really don't want to play in an event, which I can't see why, you'll just have to skip out of it, actually. So then back to the not free to play part if you ever feel like buying something in this game i would highly suggest you buy this pack which i have already bought you get um a thousand gems uh, that are like bought gems because you have a difference between bought gems and free to play gems and you get 80 free gems which are not bought gems in this game for 25 days which equals 2000 gems so you get a total of 3000 gems and i believe for me it was less than 10 euros so that's quite a good deal to me there's also these kinds of deals where you can get more stars there's also a bigger one which i also already got so why maybe it would be good to invest in bot gems maybe i'd say is because you can do a really really discounted pool with paid gems like you can see here on solo normally costs 250 gems but one solo with paid stars only costs 60 you can only do it once a day, but, you know, let's just do it, why not? And it's a two star, I need two stars, so I'm totally down with that. So, 
that were I think all the ways you can get gems with if you if you think of any others please leave down a comment below I'll I'll make I'll make sure to put them in the description this is all I can think of now and I hope that you will be able to find your way around the game and I hope that you will be having a lot of fun just like I have for over a year on the Japanese server so that will be it and I'll see you later um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna scout in this server yet I'm thinking maybe Detective Kokoro because I really want Detective, well, Thief Kaoru because, you know, she's my best girl. <laughs> so I'll see you then maybe for on this server for the rest of my scouting plans. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.